Hey Virgo, welcome back. I'm gonna do your weekend reading here, June 14th through the 16th, 2024. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy my readings here on my channel. And um, yes, you can also become a member of my channel. You just have to click the join button um, here on the channel. $2.99 per month, be a part of the HOV gang, and uh, yeah, pretty awesome stuff. You get cool badges, get to use awesome emojis, and get some shout outs here. Okay, so we're going to take a look, see what your messages are going forward. Starting with the Phoenix, a new phase is coming in. Rekindling, a renewal, transformation, growth, and somebody changes their mind. Also, you have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it, and you have passion. All right, let's take a look at these energies, starting with Friday. Something is happening here. There's a new phase of rekindling of a relationship. Somebody's changing their mind wanting to make something happen here let's take a look and see okay could be you or you could have uh, a connection with another earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn let's see uh, somebody has regret and remorse yes yes Ooh, ooh. this is some heavy energy on friday i feel like there's another person here like I said, you can reverse the roles if you need to, but the way I'm reading this is there's another person here who's hit rock bottom. <laughs> yep, they're hitting rock bottom on Friday. Something's going on. Something is definitely going on. There's a person here who feels like they've lost something. They've lost you. They've lost the relationship. Something's over. They feel horrible. They want to renew something here with you try to make something yes you're gonna get some communication from someone on friday virgo from this person um maybe even an apology from them okay let's take a look here sweet message very mild an apology some sweet love communication from someone here let's see oh my gosh you're it this is like they're wishing and hoping I feel like you're going to accept some kind of an apology or that you're going to want to restart something here with them. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So Friday, expect to hear from someone, or at least over this weekend. Expect to hear something, yeah? There was some kind of breakup or argument that must have occurred or that does occur, and then there's this kicking, someone's kicking themselves for saying something or for ending a relationship, breaking up, or separating, and coming in with an apology, okay? Hoping that you don't walk away or that you don't abandon them or this relationship. So whatever is occurring, it's serious. It's, what the heck was that? Whatever was occurring, it's pretty serious. And I feel like Either it already happened or it's going to happen over this weekend. And it's, somebody's going to just come rushing back to be like, oh, I made a mistake. Or I shouldn't have said something. Or I shouldn't have responded in that way. Doesn't want you to go. Yeah, look. Now, King and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is definitely Earth element energy. Now, it doesn't mean that if you know who this person is, that it doesn't mean that it's not them just because the Earth signs are showing up. But the Earth signs do represent being practical minded, being logical, thinking things through or somebody overthinking the a situation like not I just feel like it's a kiss and make up kind of thing. Like let's yeah, because I feel like someone here is stressed. Maybe they didn't accept your love or they were not sure. Um and they didn't want your love and it's like, oh my gosh, maybe you walk away and you're like, oh okay. Well um see ya <laughs> right like oh well if you don't want to you don't want to do this you know it's fine you don't want i've offered my love several times you don't want it 
you've rejected it, um, you seemed apathetic to it, you couldn't care less, so if you don't care, I'm not going to care. So somebody, maybe you, walking away, and somebody's like, wait a minute, 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 that's not the, that's not the case, I'm sorry I did that, I'm sorry I acted that way. So yeah, let's, let's just leave it at that. Friday, the most significant thing, this phoenix is rising. Maybe somebody's in Phoenix, Arizona. There's a renewal. There's somebody's changing their mind. Okay, so wait for that on Friday. Now, Saturday, you have hammer, sabotage, and rebuilding. Oh, boy. For being persistent and working on this. This feels like it's, yep, look, six of cups. So... This feels like it's a continuation. And this is the whole weekend. It's one long story. It's not a bunch of different things. Saturday is like, we're going to start work on this. We're going to start rebuilding. I'm, I just saw the Six of Pentacles. So there's an energy of reciprocity here. But the Six of Cups, again, more reciprocity, sharing, giving, being sincere, being authentic, being caring, being empathetic, being loving being friendly okay now like for some of you this may not be a romantic partnership this could be with anybody it could be a platonic any kind of relationship where there's some type of an argument and this person comes back and apologizes and let's try to fix this relationship there's all right why is high priestess here oh right this person realizes that they need to put effort they were putting up maybe they were fearful or putting up these boundaries or these walls they intuitively know that they're doing that they're i feel like somebody is really sorry here and maybe they were hurt before and it became avoidant or didn't want to try to make something i feel like they're coming to terms with that yes victory we're going to slash through these obstacles and it's their obstacle okay and there there's this ace of swords is just kind of like overcoming hardships and obstacles and being victorious and standing up for what they need to do or just slashing through their defensive behavior and really putting in this effort to work on this and make something better, even to the point where there is a love offer of commitment or romance or um, proposal of some sort. So if some of you were hoping for that, I do see something here happening, okay? I feel like somebody here might have been fearful or there was just, or maybe very avoidant. They're like the type of person to stick their toe in the water and it's like, nah, They're not someone who generally you weren't able to take a leap of faith. So here you go. There's the growth. Things are shifting. This weekend is going to be a, a big shift and a big change and a potential new beginning. Wow. There's a magician. So this is really making something happen here. Really making it work. So, you, you know, um, two aces. It's like a brand new start is what I feel. You know, and I feel like with the magician, this is like, I'm going to make put some magic into this, into my effort into my hard work, into the energy. Now look, like I said, roles could be reversed. You could be the one, Virgo, who wasn't putting the effort in. Maybe you were avoidant. You weren't sure, didn't know what you wanted to do, um, sitting on the bench, that kind of thing. And something either happened or happens and you're like, have a wake up call. Like, no, I don't wanna lose this. I need to put in the consistent effort with the hammer and try to rebuild something here. So like I said, could be reversed, but either way, the message is the same. I need to like be fair and do the right thing. Yes. So Saturday feels like someone's really going to see some effort being put in or get some kind of proposal to further the relationship to some degree, to progress it, or to kiss and make up and make something better. Now Sunday, it's all about the passion, right? So just keep in mind that the energy is fluid, so it could happen whenever. Um, but look, you guys, you and this person, look at this, insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. I feel like you and this person get, get that passion back in your relationship and listen right who can have a relationship without passion and sometimes the passion is not sustainable and it has to be re like put back into the relationship we always have to keep it going to some degree right yeah sure there's times for work and there's times for play but it feels like 
the passion gets stimulated again the chemistry gets you know like you guys have that insane chemistry again or recognize it and liking each other and, and like ugh, making plans for having fun together or just having fun together on sunday so let's take a look here wow the hierophant so somebody's like totally committed cutting off other people no more dating or looking around seriously want to make this relationship secure and stable this is like i don't know why sometimes i look at my cards and songs come to me and next year it'll be a different song but this song i just keep getting is brick house remember that song i'm not singing it <laughs> <laughs> but it's like little pig little pig let me in like to secure and stabilize this relationship yeah and as well like part being perfect for each other yep new chapter having that passion there's another ace having that new love start here this is amazing i feel like your weekend is just going to be so progressive it's definitely a kiss and make up kind of thing you know, or just starting over, starting over. There's Queen of Swords. Like somebody's coming in with this truth. Like I, you know what their truth is? I want you. That's the truth. Queen of Swords could be an air sign. Could be an earth sign. Could be any sign. But this is I want you. Let's make something happen here. Yep. There's a crush. The page of Wands. I'll see you at midnight. <laughs> Like a midnight lover. I'll see you at midnight. I'll tell you my secrets. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. Yeah, sharing in that having fun passion. Those could be... Mm, 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 mm. Ten of cups, wow. Yep, leap of, leap of faith here. Yo, Virgo, the, you, whoever this person is to you, you guys, you have a future together. I could just tell you that. You have a future together, for sure. Let me see. Messages of love. Okay. This rejection is actually divine protection. So there was some kind of rejection. It's like, oh, no, no, no. That's not going to happen. No, 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 no. Release. Letting it go. Retreat. Rejection, release, and retreat. Hmm. A re, re, re. Maybe somebody's name, nickname is re, re. Um... There's something here about the RE. I don't even know if it's so much of as a message. Huh. It's interesting. All right. So it, I feel like they're giving me some something to do with yesterday's reading. Remember yesterday you were kind of like shocking. You were shocking someone or something maybe letting something go i feel like the releasing or if you feel rejected or the, the letting go that kind of brings this true love to your door yes bringing this true love to your door letting someone go look this is a destined partnership you two are fated to be together so i just i just feel like you're meant to be you have a future with this person you both do but somebody's been lagging and i don't see them they're not lagging anymore. I feel like, you know, the lagging issue had more to do with someone just not being sure about committing to a relationship. Not so much you, but, but it may be like fearful of losing their freedom. You do have a date night over this weekend with this person, so there will be a connecting with someone and for some of you it's a date night with a water sign cancer scorpio pisces let's see oh boy and you have the yes card say yes or this person will say yes and you also have they'll be back expect to hear from them soon i'm telling you this person is there's going to be a return that's all i'm saying will you talk to me will you listen to me I want to apologize. You're the one for me. I don't want to lose you. I want to make this change. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, it's like a Hallmark movie. It's so sweet. <laughs> it's so sweet. Letting go. Make room, making room for the new beginning on its way to you now, Virgo. This weekend looks amazing. 
let's take a look and see this person's Chinese sign, yours or theirs. Yeah, and then you have second chance. Relationship deserves a second chance. Okay. All right. Chinese sign for Virgo and their person. Year of the goat. Year of the snake. Year of the rabbit. Year of the tiger. Year of the horse. Year of the ox. Year of the dog. Year of the dragon. Okay, so... You know, that's either you or your person. If it's neither of you, don't worry. Or if it's just one of you, it doesn't mean it's not for you. Okay? So as you know, the weekend message is a little bit shorter. All right. We've got Aquarius twice. Gemini again, of course, as always. And Cancer showing up here. Okay. Oh, and Capricorn now. We have November 8th here. I just saw that real quick. Um, or somebody, uh, something significant in November is going to happen. September 8th also, you have 44, 36, September 7th, 63, 51, 83. If you're new to my channel, these could this could be the year you were born or your age or your date of birth. 39, 56, you or the person you're dealing with, 68, 90, 74, 74, 27, okay, uh, July also will be a very significant month, um, 21, the 21st, and the 13th, also the 6th, okay, oh, and of course the 31st. <laughs> oh, M-A-G-A, -A, MAGA. Somebody MAGA? <laughs> or somebody's cat or dog's tail is wagging? Um, all right, they just said PM. Tylenol PM or somebody, something's happening in the PM. Maybe it's nighttime as you're listening to this, where you are. Uh, somebody's name is Joe or Joanne or Joan or Joseph. Uh, somebody's got that it factor. <laughs> Um, okay, somebody draws a fiat, okay, KK, KK, let me see, PJ, I'm hearing PJ, mm. oh, somebody's a, um, a JAG officer, a JAG officer, which I guess that's like what, military attorney or something, somebody's learning AI, right now um okay i see they're not giving me an, a lot right here oh somebody's got a lot of fog where they are it's like really foggy or it's gonna be really foggy this weekend uh somebody's name is J J A I J A I J A I J okay So if you guys, I say this, oh, they just said Mai Tai. Somebody's having Mai Tais this weekend. If you see the letters and you see something like a word or a name or something that stands out to you, feel free to post it in the comments if it like resonates. Somebody thinks they're really fat when they probably are not. Um, okay, Pat, Patty, Patricia, Patrick, Pia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tom, Tammy, Tamara, Thomas. Mm -hmm. Somebody's getting paid. Just got paid. It's Friday night. Okay, let's see. Somebody lives in apartment 6A or 136A. Um, okay. Uh, somebody will be seeing their family this weekend for maybe like a party, picnic, barbecue. Something's going on. Mm. Somebody lives in mountain time. Mountain time. Okay, I'm seeing Pog. I don't know. I heard of that before, but I'm seeing Pog. I'm also picking up POW, P-O-W, prisoner of war, or somebody's 
Pew pew. <laughs> pew 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 pew. Somebody's fighting. Okay. And let's see. Oh, Matt, Maddie, Matthew, Matrick, Matt. Okay. All right. Let's get into your charms. Oh, you got a um, infinity symbol. Oh, oh, you got a poodle. Okay. Do, do you have a poodle? Or maybe your poodle is getting, going to the groomer. Or maybe you are a groomer. That's something that you do for a living or a career. Let's see, you also have a diamond. So some of you getting a diamond over this weekend from somebody, like or a piece of jewelry, or you might be giving it. It's a diamond. It's nothing else but a diamond. It's crystal clear, or a white diamond. Getting it or get or giving it. Yeah, infinity symbol here. Very significant for someone. Could be getting infinity symbol tattoo, or you already have one. Somebody might be wearing a mask for something this weekend as well. Could be goggles, goggle mask just said I also have um oh I love these colors it's a neutral color clam <laughs> it's actually yeah so it's like an olive green with uh, pearl that's pretty colors mixed together olive green with pearl it's very earthy a seashell clam maybe you find one like that or you have some kind of decor like that in your home although like those colors, those pink colors. And look, here's a fighting rabbit, the boxer. Remember I said, pal, pew, pew. <laughs> Somebody's fighting or doing something. Or fighting off a jackrabbit. Yeah, that's a, it's, a, it's like a jackrabbit fighting. Not like, like it's playful for me. It doesn't feel like an actual like, oh, we're going to duke it out, you know, and then we're going to make up. <laughs> We're going to duke it out and then kiss and make up. Maybe it's wrestling, fun, playful wrestling with someone this weekend, too. You're a special person, right? Or you're in some kind of wrestling match of some sort, or you go see one, perhaps over the weekend. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave that there. Just keep in mind, uh, the summer schedule has changed, and I am not doing phone call readings for the summer, just text message readings. So all you have to do is click on the link to my website, moonpytarot.com, and then you can book your text message reading. Number one, they're super fast. Number two, they're super inexpensive. Number three, you can ask five questions, anything you want. You can book them as many times as you like if, or any time that you need to if you have any kind of question. And I've expanded my hours, so I'm available on the weekends. I'm available at night, early in the morning. So that should pretty much cover almost all of you globally just about um it, and if anything you will have it by the time that you booked but you may have it sooner okay depending on my schedule but you'll never have it late okay so keep that in mind if you need to get a quick super fast personal reading and also another benefit is you get to keep it when i text you back you get to hold on to it and refer it for a later time refer to it for a later time all right you guys thanks mods i see you all in here thanks everybody in the chat don't forget to leave a comment if anything resonates or if you see other names in here definitely check that out um you know looking to see oh aim amy just said amy or someone has good aim all right so i'll see you guys back here on sunday i might be doing a live stream i'm not sure if i am you'll see it posted um so pop in if you see it posted when I'll be going live. If not, I'll, it'll just be a regular. And uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.